What is up guys, Kyle here back up on my snowmobile. This video was from a few, actually it might have even been almost a month ago, three weeks ago. And this was by far the best riding day we had had so far until I went uh, yesterday, what's today, Monday, um, well Tuesday when you watch this, or I don't know when you're going to watch it, fuck it. But we went up on Sunday and... Um, it was actually better than this day. What you want when you're snowmobiling is you want lots of powder, lots of cold weather too, so it keeps that powder soft. Um, it's not very fun when the fucking there's lots of powder and it warms up and it gets really sticky, then you just fucking get stuck a bunch. And uh, but no, this was a perfect day. It was nice and cold. Um, it was during the week, so all these tracks you're seeing out here are from me and my buddy. We were. Um, we are the first people up here. I think pretty much the only people up here, especially during the week when not that many people are going, because I have the luxury of not actually from working from home, so I can pretty much go up here whenever I want. But this was a dream fucking day, and um, I never. This was the first time I really got like a true deep powder day. It was like two or three feet of powder, and uh, for Washington, that's pretty good. But yesterday, uh, we actually had a pretty awesome day too. It was. Uh, um, Lots of powder, but the only thing that sucked was it warmed up and it got really sticky. And it was on a Sunday, so there's a shitload of people up there. And uh, these are the best days when there's nobody but you and, and whoever you go up with. You always want to go up with somebody because there's always a chance of that avalanche. And you wear a beacon, they wear a beacon. If something happens, they can find you. And yeah, I was just, he was over there. You probably saw him. He was fixing his sled. He's my buddy who's, he's like six foot seven. And, uh, played baseball with him and stuff and just started hanging out with him snowmobiling and uh just look at this it just looks like you're on, you're fucking fo floating on clouds and uh sitting this is like the when i, I like i said i i've i've caught on to snowmobiling pretty good and um uh this is where if if i would have gone up here probably within the within the first like five times of snowmobiling uh, I would just be getting stuck like crazy in this powder stuff because you gotta you gotta keep on the throttle and um, keep your momentum up and I just wasn't aware of that when I first started snowmobiling but now um, I'm able to like carve the powder and be able to get the spots that before there'd be no fucking way I'd even get close to getting up to but um, this day was nice because um, you want a sunny day especially if you're GoProing because uh when it's kind of dark and cloudy the gopro it's not very it's not a very good low light camera and um what's nice is the clouds it would clear and it was staying cold because uh it would be like 10 minutes of darkness and then five minutes of sun and um it worked out perfect for recording wise and just having a fun day because like I was saying, you don't want this snow warming up then you're just getting stuck like crazy even though we did get stuck a lot that's that's half the workout of fucking snowmobiling. It's it's tough to cruise around in the powder because you're whipping your sled all around and you get tired. But when you get stuck, oh gosh, it's it's it sucks because most of the time you need more than one person to get out. Um, most of the time I just roll my sled and roll out of the hole it gets stuck in. But um, if you if you are getting stuck, at least at least that means you're pushing yourself. That's kind of how I look at it. Unless you're just getting stuck on some like pussy spot, then that just means you're not catching on to it and you got to fucking throttle up. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my my little fucking powder heaven and uh, I got another one of I got another powder video. Uh I got actually quite a quite a bit of footage, so maybe I'll just keep coming bringing that to you guys until I run out of that. And um, I didn't record when we went out Sunday because I just wanted to have a not have to worry about dealing with my GoPro and recording stuff and uh, just have a a day of riding and enjoy riding. So yeah, more snowmobiling and once I'm out of this footage, the season will probably be over and I have to wait till next year. Talk to you guys later. Peace.